Hello, everyone, and welcome to another episode of my Arizona adventure. After spending the night in Flagstaff, I hit the road early for the drive up to the Grand Canyon. As I leave Flagstaff, snow-capped Humphrey Peak, the highest point in Arizona, is visible off to my left. It's about 80 miles up uh, U.S. Highway 89 and Arizona Route 64 to the Desert View entrance to the Grand Canyon. And along my way, I pass through the little Colorado River Gorge. The little Colorado River Gorge was cut by, yep, the little Colorado River. It runs for about 57 miles and is actually an arm of the Grand Canyon. About two hours after leaving Flagstaff, I arrive at the Desert View entrance of the Grand Canyon. I present my National Park Service Senior Pass at the entrance gate, and like most national parks, the fee is waived. I must say that my National Park Service Senior Pass has more than paid for itself. For a one-time fee of $80, I'm able to use it to get into most national parks for free or at least at a reduced rate. My first stop inside the National Park is at the Desert View Watchtower. The Watchtower stands on the south rim of the Grand Canyon and was completed in 1932. Visitors can climb to the top of the tower. Once there, you get some commanding views looking east at the desert and of the Grand Canyon. On June 30th, 1956, two commercial passenger planes, one belonging to TWA and the other to United Airlines, collided over the south rim of the Grand Canyon near here. All 128 people on board the planes were killed. This memorial has been placed here, designating this site as a National Historic Landmark. I made the climb to the top of the watchtower using the spiral staircase. The staircase is really quite narrow. And thank goodness it wasn't very crowded. And I only had to stop a couple of times to let people pass. Once at the top, the view out the windows was spectacular. After spending a few minutes at the top of the watchtower, admiring the wonderful views, it was time to head west toward the main entrance in the Grand Canyon Village. So I returned to the car 
Again, the 30 mile drive along the South Rim Drive. But of course, had to stop several times. And a few of the overlooks along the way. This is the view of the watchtower from Navajo Point on the south rim of the Grand Canyon. This is the view from Moran's Point at the Grand Canyon.
if you have a fear of heights, this is not the place for you. There are no rails and it's a long way down there. There is absolutely no way that I can capture the magnificent beauty of the Grand Canyon. I will only tell you that it's one of those places that should be on everybody's bucket list. I hope you've enjoyed my visit to this amazing place. If you have, give me a thumbs up below. And if you're so inclined, leave me a comment. If you want to keep up with my future adventures, be sure to ring that bell and subscribe. For now, it's time for me to head on down the road and see what's around the bend. So long, everyone, and thanks for watching.